Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video about hydrochlorothiazide, which is another one of the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications in the US. And as the name, the very long name already tells us, it is a thiazide diuretic and also an antihypertensive. So hydrochlorothiazide, which many times is abbreviated at HCTZ for short, um, is indicated for the treatment of hypertension and then also edema that's associated with certain conditions such as heart failure, renal disease, cirrhosis, as well as steroids. So um, it helps to reduce the fluid that is causing the edema. And it does that by inhibiting the reabsorption of sodium and water in the distal tubule of the kidney. And if we're inhibiting the reabsorption, we're getting rid of the sodium and the water. So we're getting rid of extra, extra fluid, which then will help us to lower the blood pressure. In addition, it also promotes the excretion of other electrolytes, which are chloride, potassium, magnesium, and bicarbonate. Um, most common side effects include Steven Johnson syndrome, which is a very serious skin condition that can occur after the administration of HCTZ, which are blisters on the skin and the mucous membranes, but they can be very, very serious. Because we know that the medication helps to excrete potassium, we're at risk of the patient developing hypokalemia, as well as dehydration because we're getting rid of the water. So if we're getting rid of too much water, the patient might get dehydrated. And then it can also cause dizziness and drowsiness. Nursing considerations and patient teaching, we want to make sure we check the blood pressure before we give the medication. Check the patient for signs of edema and heart failure, so monitor I and O's, daily weight, as well as the output that they have after we administer the medication. Check the potassium level before we give it because we know it can cause hypokalemia, but we also want to check renal function because we know it affects the renal tubule and other electrolytes that we know it promotes the excretion of. If the patient is also on digoxin, there's an increased risk for hypokalemia, so be aware of that. And then of course, check for skin conditions, Steven Johnson syndrome after the administration. The medication might also cause orthostatic hypotension, so we wanna make sure to educate our patients to change positions slowly when they get from a laying down to a standing up position. It might cause photosensitivity, we always want to promote good lifestyle measures to decrease the blood pressure and teach the patient about checking blood pressure and heart rate at home, as well as keeping a log to make sure that we're tracking any kind of progress that the patient is, is having, especially after they have just been started on this medication. Thanks for watching this video. Also check out the other medications in that top 10 list. And I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained.